Hi guys, it's Aish here. Welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a long time. It wasn't intentional, but um, things happen. Life gets in the way. I we lost a I lost a cousin to the basically was a soldier. So um, against the war on terror, I suppose you could call it. Um, yeah, so he passed away, and then I wasn't feeling well, and then the holidays come in and. Blah blah yada yada. It's anyway. It's all good now, and um, I'm, I'm getting distracted by <laughs> by the lounge room window. Sorry. Um, yeah, so I'm back. Um, consequently, I was going to do a November cowl, um, Movember cowl, I should say, but I cancelled it because I never actually even talked about it to you guys. Where so this is going to be knitting and um, be some knitting, so some finishes, some whips and some stash enhancement. I have to say though that um, I've just been reflecting back on um, how far I've come knitting wise um, considering that this time last year I really didn't no not this time last year this time last year I barely knew how to read a pattern and you know a few months before that I had never read a pattern in my life I didn't know the difference between well I knew what a knit and a pearl stitch was but I didn't know they were called knit and pearl etc 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 um yeah so and now you know whatever months later i've knit like 13 socks and can knit a sock without a pattern can knit a hat without a pattern so that still blows my mind um for those of you who are looking for some cross stitch i did lose my cross stitch mojo after not really um getting proper glasses i still haven't they still haven't got a perfect script so which is really peeving me um but i'm feeling the cross stitch mojo come back again so hopefully i will film one in the next couple of weeks i just need to choose some sh um I suppose shorter patterns is that the word smaller patterns just so I can get a couple of finishes under my belt um, so I can you know get that mojo back anyway so like I said today is going to be all about knitting so firstly I do have a lot of knitting to show because it's been quite a while since I last spoken to you and I'm just pulling them all down here I'm not going to show you everything um, just to show you that I have been knitting um, I suppose um, firstly I just made a whole bunch of hats they're not all here but um, just made some hats these ones will go to a local homeless shelter or a homeless organization um, I made a tam this is my own design which I'm quite proud of I still haven't cut the ends off but yeah so there's bobbles a garter stitch and some yarn overs and some patterning there and that's how it looks like on the brim I mean on the um, top so it is a tam I don't know if you can see this so it is quite loose but I really like it I really like how this came about and I'm gonna um, I think I might need some more of these not that I kept a pattern or anything but I yeah I really like it so it's quite cool like it I like it a lot I also made some more hats but I actually don't know where they are this one I finished recently and I'm looking for something which I have, oh no. Well, not that I do much spinning, but I finally finished some spinning on a spindle. And, um, and this is my spinning, but it's pretty much, if you can see, it's thick and thin. So it goes from anything from like a, I suppose, a lacy, light fingering weight <laughs> to bulky. But I made a hat out of it and I love it. So this will again will go as a charity hat. But look, oh, I love the colours. Maybe I'll keep it. But I love the colours. In the end it came out pretty evenly after I applied. It looked quite nice. But I love the colours and I really should have taken the name of this. This was from I think it's called Kathy's Fibre. And I bought it at Bendigo Woolen Mills and it was a bit their Bendigo, not Bendigo Woolen Mills, at the Bendigo show last year. I think it was called it was the Bendigo colorway for 2011 but I love it I love the color of it I'm glad that I've finished spinning it I have no idea what I'll make with the rest of this maybe I have no idea but I'll probably incorporate it into another hat I would think but they're all the well, they're not all the hats but they're all the hats that I picked up along the way and then I've got a couple of test knits that I want to show you the first one is the Celadon the Celadon I've got notes but I don't know where I put them 
Here we go. Excuse me, moist. Yes, it's a Celadon. No, it's not. It's your Alira shawl by Amber O'Brien. And um, this was a test knit, but I'll just show you the lace work at the edge. And it's supposed to be a gradient, so I chose. Um, this is all made out of Madeline Tosh, Tosh Merino Light, and I'm in love with this. I'm in love with this yarn. It's not easy to get here in Australia, but um, and now with the exchange rate, everything's getting significantly more expensive. Thankfully, I've got a few skeins left in the um, in the stash, and I'll show you the right side row. But yeah, I'm absolutely absolutely in love with it. So this color here is Modern Fair Isle. And I love that. So you end up using a whole skein of that one. This is Celadon, Well Water, Worn Denim, and Ink. Now with Ink, I was I was basically binding off all at the yeah I might have been binding off, and I had to um, basically rip it out because the colour was um, seeping onto my hands and staining my hands, and I just didn't want to risk washing it so I ended up ripping the ink out, washing the yarn, waiting for it to dry and then um, knitting, re-knitting with it and I and from the notes that I've read by other people it seems that some of their more saturated colours from Madeline Tosh do do that. It's fairly a long shawl, it's, um, it's longer than my wingspan so my wingspan is I suppose my height which is 150 centimetres and what's this? So yeah, it's probably about two and a half meters long. I I love it. Unfortunately, I'm giving this as a gift to my sister. I say unfortunately because I love it so much, but um, it's a decent size shawl to just wear that way, or you can do it the other way that everybody loves to do it like that, etc. I'm not going to put it on. It's really hot today, and um, I'm already getting a bit of a sweat on. So. But that's a Celadon, Celadon um, Alira shawl by Amber. I love it. I absolutely love it. Absolutely recommend it to everybody. It was such a fun knit and easy knit. Um, I do have some notes in my on my project page, so I do have a look there. Um, I ended up for all the repeats. I would put a a stitch marker at the end of each repeat, so that I knew that when you get to the next line, if I've done something wrong. It's in that repeat and it hasn't gone any further, if that makes any sense. So um, I do recommend that you do that too. Um, and then I'm, uh, I finally finished. Well, I started, restarted and then finished. It's the Hermione's Bobbles and Cables by Kashi Khan. I used the Misty Alpaca Tonis Worsted in Copper Penny. This colour is absolutely divine it I haven't blocked this yet but look it's even it's not that bright like it's a beautiful beautiful copper variegated but it looks orange there hopefully when I upload it it won't but it's lovely and it's got bobbles and cables and I did well I think in my youth I might have made some bobbles but I didn't know how to do them this pattern all it said was make a bobble it didn't actually tell you but you know you just type in what does MB mean in knitting and you know you have a thousand results so that's what I did so it's just got a long rib cast on and this is the decreases um, I wasn't happy with the way the decreases were but it's a free pattern and she also mentions she was wigging it when she was doing the decreases so um, I mean the world hasn't ended I like I said, I did actually enjoy knitting this. And again, I just, but instead of doing three repeats of the pattern, I did four repeats because my friend had tried it on and um, she was saying it was a bit tight. There is laddering, unfortunately, but I haven't blocked it. So once I block it, this, a lot of that stuff will hopefully disappear. If not, um, yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do. So this is how it looks. She wanted a floppy hat. I didn't really give her one, did I? So, but I do like it. It's, oh, I love the colour. And I want to buy, I'm just waiting for it to, to find it on special somewhere. Um, but 
love it so if you want to do something Harry Potter inspired but without the colors it's just so cool and then I am I made another shawl it, it, it tis the season to, to make shawls this one is a lovely ruffle shawl it's called the lovely ruffle shawl and it's by Rebecca Lidicoat. Um, not many projects of this one. Um, I ended up knitting it in Colinette Jitterbug. <coughs> Excuse me. Now Colinette Jitterbug is listed as fingering. It is not fingering. It's DK. Um, but you get 400 yards in a skein. So you get 150 grams. And it isn't enough for this pattern. Well, maybe because I was, maybe because I needing a looser gauge I don't know but I ended up finishing I can't remember the number of total lines it has but I ended up finishing ending it at line 74 and then I started the increases again and it'll make sense if you looked at the pattern and yeah I just love it the magic happens right down here you end up having over a thousand stitches on your needle so you need to um, weigh all that now I've again I've made some I think are reasonable notes on um, Ravelry for it. I because I actually ran out of yarn but I managed to find a yarn that matches. Yeah. So I don't think you can tell thankfully because I ran probably about a quarter way through um, uh, what's the word? Binding off. So I love this shawl. I actually made this for my sister and I forgot I made it and it ended up them earmarking the Illyria shawl. So I'm going to keep this one for myself. Again, it's quite long, but it's more of a, it's like a shawlette. Good foot one for, you know, if you realise that you're a bit breasty at work. So you just put a shawl on so you can cover your cleavage up. You know those days when you just realise, I didn't notice that in the mirror the other day when I, you know, when I left in the morning. I often get that. And then next, the final shawl that I made is another test knit for Amber. This one is called the... Is it called the Celadon? Yes, this one is called the Celadon shawl. I think that's why I'm mixing it up. And again, like I said, this is a test knit and she has released it. Part of the Chroma collection. And it's done, her pattern was done in a sport. I ended up doing it in DK because sport is hard to get your hands on here in Australia, five ply. Um, and I'm really happy with both the yarns and the colours I chose. I use Bendigo Woolen Mills. Um, mostly luxury and this one's a good um, stash buster because you don't have to use like I'll show you hang on, which way is the front so that's that's the right size and you could you can make these stripes shorter if you wanted to um, and just use up stash and that's what I did so th this color is a beautiful orange called tangerine then I used um, Bendigo 4 ply and I held it double in black I think this one's called either slate or charcoal in rust in classic and then we've got gray and I think there's a slate I can't remember the colors but um and this is ghost I know that name and this is yarn by Miss Gusset who's not dying anymore and I just held that double I think it was it was probably actually probably this one was a sport because it feels thicker than the other yarns but I held that double in order to use the yarn up and then you finish off again with it this is a, quite a big shawl not too um, not too deep as you can see but again it's colors that I really like and I think it's really nice autumnal colors and I just wanted something that I could wear also in the winter um, that had an uber pop of color but still had that sort of neutral element to it and I think the greys actually make well it, they don't but it all kind of neutralizes the orange a bit but in my head anyway and then the last thing I think I have to show you in finishes is just my January socks I'm participating in a whole bunch of um, brown bag sock clubs so I've just finished some socks these the I suppose the yarn in this one is, well, no, I don't suppose, I know, it's Motivera Not Just Socks colour in Berry. 
The pattern I used was um, Wendy Johnson's top socks with a difference, which makes puts the gusset in at the base of the sock, and it's got a slip stitch heel. I thought that's a nice one to try because, like I said, like I've said in the past, I always try to learn something new with it with patterns when I'm doing them. I don't have my sock blockers, unfortunately, so I have no idea. But that's how the yarn looks knitted up, which is quite cool. I quite like this colorway, and that's berry. It's lovely, so I can't wait to wear them in a couple of months' time when we get to um, the cooler parts of autumn. Actually, I probably could wait because it's going to get quite cold. Okay, now I've got my whips to show you. I don't have too many. Um, I am trying to work out what I, I still am trying to work out what I want to knit for the year regardless of what I have in my queue. Maybe I have to change the order and stuff. Um, but I do aim to knit at least 12 socks this year and 12 beanies for charity this year. Like adult beanies. Um, my charity of choice is the Look Good Feel Better program for cancer patients who are undergoing chemo and losing their hair. And also um, a local homeless shelter as well. Not a local homeless shelter, but... I can, I know people who work in the industry so I can um, pass some hats on to them as well. So having said that, I do have my February socks to show you. Now the joy of my February socks is that I knit them two at a time and I have to say even though I was doing knitting top, yes top down, I really enjoyed it because I'm not a top down person um, and I will knit them toe up next time. But I do actually like the concept of top down um, two at a time knitting. I found it really easy. The hardest thing was cast on, but I also don't like a stretchy cast on as a cast on. So I don't like doing it and that was part of the problem as well. So these are Laura Linneman's Afterthought Heel, but I only cast on 60 stitches and I, I decreased to 16 at the toe. I have it that this that's a pink so I haven't put the heels in yet the yarn is Arnie and Carlos in summer 3657 I think and that color is from Nip Picks it's tranquil I think it was so I like them they do not match I just used I haven't the Arnie and Carlos yarns that were selling here in Australia they're um, 50 grams so I just started knitting from each ball and um, yeah, so hopefully soon I will, next time you see me, hopefully next week, I will have done the heels. Keeping it in my own bag that I love, I love the apples on this one. It's just, I love this bag. I'm so glad I made it for myself. But um, So that's that. I'm just trying to work out if I've got else. I've forgotten to bring you my doodler shawl doesn't matter I'll show it next time the other whip that I'm doing um, knitting is the oh my god what's the what this one called convergence shawl by um, Josh Ricks I've actually stopped knitting on this because I don't know if I like the colorway or the colors I chose I should say so this is what I've knit so far I am knitting these on interchangeables as I always do using the Symphony. I really like, I've discovered that other than for knitting socks, I really like using these needles. Um, but yeah, I just, I'm not happy with the maroon colour. I really like this colour. This is um, Manistel Uruguay in, I think it's called Pinto. But yeah, I don't. I think it's overpowering it, so I might rip it out. We'll see. I have to think about it, and then just choose another colour to contrast with it. But these are the. See, they looked okay when they're in um, balls, but yeah, I just this is too overpowering it because I want this one to be sort of the star. Don't you just love it? But we'll see. Maybe I choose two absolutely different colourways. I don't know, but. I don't know, I like the shawl. Sorry, I'm just pack, trying to pack up as I go along. Love the shawl, so we'll see how we go. Let me know what you think I should put with it or whether you think it's okay. Um, this bag is from Bat Squirrel Fibers. Cute little foxy bag. Love it. 
love 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 it I think this is the I don't know if this is a large or the jumbo or what her sizing is but I like that and then the only other thing I have is I didn't bring it here but all I did was a gauge swatch because I want to do the mama vertebrae shawl um, and but I don't have it but that's the yarn I'm going to use from Bendigo Woolen Mills if you can get your hands on Bendigo Woolen Mills and they do a mail do international mail these balls are just amazing they don't finish and that's because they're 200 grams and they're just awesome awesome um, this colorway is called bloom it sort of changes in color but it's all the same color if that makes sense so it looks like there's barber polling then there's solid colors and then less barber polling but barber polling love it but that's hopefully I'm going to make a mama vertebrae out of that one for myself because that's one of my goals this year is to knit a sweater for myself um, I've done quite a few vesty type things for um, babies I made the baby vertebrae last year which was my aim is to make a sweater last year so I made the baby one it doesn't have to it doesn't involve buttons and the like so I don't have to worry about button placement or choosing buttons or anything like that I just wanted a simple sweater like a cardigan that I could wear and I won't be making it long sleeve because I can't stand them I'll make it three quarter or half arm length and make it almost like a bolero style because it's still a cardigan or oh, look and then not this is not a pattern and I was going and then but that's it buddies that is all of my well, not all of my, all of the whips and the finishes that I'm going to show you today. The rest is stash enhancement and also I participated in an autumn swap last year with the Foxes in Soxes girls, Foxes in Soxes, Fox in Socks girls. And um, yeah, I just want to show you some of the stuff in there because I do have a crush on some of the stuff. But first though, I just want to show you um, some fibre that I bought last year well or yeah last year I have I'm really apart I'm really doing a stash down this year I do have a lot of yarn I do have a lot of I have more fiber than I am comfortable with because I don't spin that much also um, even cross stitch wise I have cancelled any monthly subscriptions that I had for floss and fabric and I just want to use up some of my stash this year I'm not going on a no-buy because those of you who watch my makeup channel know that I don't believe in no-buys. I think low-buys are a good idea. But anyway, so I bought some stuff. So like this may seem a lot of stuff, but I'm not showing you everything because like I'm not going to show you the next bit, what I got from Knit Picks, other than one item. Um, but yeah, so I thought I'd just show you some of the fibres that I got. And I, I have been eyeing the fibre from Spun Right Round for such a long time. That one day I just bit the bullet and I thought, nah, I'm going to get it. I've got money today, let's go for it. No expenses that are outstanding, all that sort of stuff. Because the dollar is now awful in Australia, um, the conversion rate. So we're paying at least a third, depending on your credit card that you're using or the account that you're using. So it's not worth a lot of the time buying stuff because, like, for instance, some of the... Um, self-striping that I love $49 for the yarn plus shipping so it's not going to happen so you're not going to see what I you know what I used to get last year and what I get this year is going to be very different anyway so I bought some one of the kinds and um, from her at Spun Right Round and the first one is just an experimental colorway and it's got purples and oranges and greys and I just love it. I couldn't I couldn't I couldn't say no and this colourway is her experiment 348. Then we've got experiment 376 which has got a bit of neon greens and chartreuses and limes which some of you may know that chartreuse is my all time favourite colour. I just I don't understand how people can be unhappy when they look at it. Um I do have a board on Pinterest because I don't really use Pinterest but I just put all chartreuse coloured stuff or lime coloured stuff 
and I just like, every once in a while I'll look at that board just to see the colors and it just makes me all happy and yeah anyway so I like that color too and that was experiment 376 if I haven't mentioned it but that's that and this one is Rambouillet again which I haven't spun in this colorway is I'll take this one out circus look at that isn't that cool so hopefully when I um, I've got some I suppose the word is cheaper wool that I'm currently spinning on spindles when I get the hang of doing it thinner I want to be able to knit this in a um, spin this in a fingering weight because I really would like a pair of socks out of these so I just think the colors are divine what else have I got to show you oh here we go I also did some dyeing because why not as they say so I made I love how this one come out I don't like the yarn that I'm, I've used this is a knit picks Peruvian Highland for fingering weight but this one is variegated I've called it Reavers if anybody watches um, what's that word what's that show firefly and this one is a nice pumpkin-y orangey variegated one and I named the yarns that I dye so I called this one um, saffron is a bitch <laughs> from um, again from firefly and oh yes and this is another yarn that I actually spun and this is actually technically this is probably the first one but this yarn was only 50 grams and I think it was for felting because it was a bit, you know, it wasn't the best yarn and as you can see, nice thick yarn but then cute thin yarn, thick and thin so I've got to work out what I'm going to knit with this. I was thinking of knitting an iPad cover so I'll probably just use actually both of those for an iPad cover and I'm going trying to go through these quickly and this is another yarn that I've dyed as yet to be named and then another one that I dyed look at that 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 is like it's 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 pink and but it's variegated I love it and I think this is one's called I think I called it Kath Day Night because of those of you who watch Kath and Kim and this is the yarn that I just wanted to show you from Knit Picks just so that you can see it in um in, you know better than the photos on their website even though it's not on sale at the moment it'll probably come back and this is the um, Knit Picks Hawthorne Fingering which is 80-20 357 yards to 100 grams fingering weight in confetti is it? confetti speckle so that's the colour weather and it's quite pretty I like it but it's 357 yards so I, even though I can knit socks out of it which I probably end up will be doing actually I won't because I the only time I wear white socks is with runners so I don't know what I'm going to do with it but it was on sale during the Black Friday and I thought why not buying my partner some yarn from Stray Cat socks I had to buy some for myself um, I love the packaging that it comes in. It comes in a cute little box. So it's actually a good one to buy as a gift for someone. And I chose the colorway, I think it's called Liberty. And it's a three color, so it's orange. I'm really in an orange phase at the moment. Orange, light blue, and a, well, undyed, I suppose you would call it. I just like the color and I thought that would look cool in socks, so I had to buy it. And I love it when they, I love it when they um, ball it up. It, in um, a ball like a, in a gum ball type thing because you actually get to see the colors so I really like it and I suppose I should show you some of the stuff that I bought from Hawaii whack, way back in the day as well I ended up buying the, the yarns that I showed you as well as these cotton yarns and I other than for dishcloths I haven't really knit with cotton and didn't think I would ever buy cotton yarn but I ended up buying these ones these three here sorry because I started using them these are from, if I can find, I don't even think I took a picture of these ones. This, 
these are universal sorry these are um, universal yarn in bamboo pop I'll just show it there too even though I'll write it down and these are the three colors that I purchased I purchased this one that one and that one there I bought these because um, the owner had made a shawl and even though I didn't choose the colors she chose I thought that's actually a nice I mean as much as I like to buy makeup and stuff like that as souvenirs from places I thought that would be nice to buy yarn so and make this shawl I did actually buy the pattern too intending to start it while I was in Hawaii but yeah that didn't happen but this is how one of them looks like knitted up and um, yeah I'm going to take this apart and start again I just want to see how it up. and um, we were going we were shopping around and I had it in my head that I wanted to buy some Hawaii type fabrics because I don't know why because I used to quilt and now I don't but I seem to continue to buy fabrics so I bought some fabrics I might end up just making some bags and selling it on Etsy or something like I don't know so because I've got so many like Japanese um, Japanese fabrics and Japanese inspired fabrics and um, fabrics with you know like Audrey Hepburn on it and different things like that so because this year I'm trying to you know purge some of the stuff that I have I might make some bags we'll see how we go see if I have some time if I do I'll let you guys know so I bought this fabric here which basically is clear that it's Hawaii and then I just got some beautiful ones like that I just love them and I love this pineapple one and this one too <sighs> how can you not love them and then he ended up giving me I didn't I don't know if he just gave it to me because he just loved me like was in love with me but I ended up getting some charm squares as well for free and of course I chose the blue one but I might end up just I don't know what I'll do with these ones maybe I'll just make some other ones up and do a patchwork bag for myself or something I don't know it's like a project bag and then I did actually also dye in sock blank because everybody seems to be knitting from sock blank so I bought a sock blank and I just want to show it to you because I really like how it came up this is in single um, so it'll just this whatever I knit will be different but I just I love how it came out I just love it love it how it looked in my head and how it came out it's there because I wanted a lot of white okie dokie so now I'm going to show you my swap I haven't asked Denise if I'm allowed to say I won't call her Ravelry name how's that so Denise um, I'm looking for something ah. so Denise was my swap partner for um, the full swap for foxes and socks and she, I'm not going to show you everything she gave me some awesome lollies and what do you, what do you guys call them in candy but we call them lollies here um, and you call them sweets in England um, obviously they were gone that was snorted within I don't know 30 seconds of opening the package and then um, she gave me sent me candy corn because I was always curious about candy corn because even though I've been to the US a number of times like well Hawaii anyway I've been to uh, yeah well I've been to the mainland once I haven't been around I've never seen candy corn in the store so I'm assuming they are only sold during Halloween season if that makes sense but anyway so she sent me that and that was that was an interesting flavor I have to say but she sent and made me some awesome stuff just loved it I a little bit of wee came out what can I say firstly she made me a Star Wars bag I love it I'm so happy and she made it chartreuse inside the woman knows me I love it now um, that I've showed it to you guys I am going to use it and very happily and yes I did watch the new Star Wars I ended up watching it on New Year's no Christmas Day because I don't celebrate Christmas so I went with my nephew we watched it in gold class um, for those of you who don't know what gold class is is one of the I think there's about eight, 18 or 20 seats in the cinema. They're all recliner. You have a table in between, so the, and they're set up in pairs. Nobody 
can block anybody or does block anybody else's view you obviously pay a premium for this you get table service and you can tell them bring me the food at the beginning of this movie during or and also you can tell them which or you can say bring it halfway through an hour in half an hour towards the end you can tell them and they'll bring whatever food you want or have ordered and also it's not the normal food as well you can order almost meal type stuff so we ended up um, I mean my nephew wanted um, like popcorn and ice cream we had all the standard stuff got to have a chock top um, but we also got some nachos or something so it was very cute and yes I love the movie um, no spoilers here um, but for some reason Ben I just keep on going I don't know if I like him is that that actor should have been chosen for him or not he was just too I don't know I don't know. He was just wrong. I just kept on thinking he's in Harry Potter or something. Anyway, so she also made me a scarf. She, a shawl. She ended up choosing something from my um, queue, and she chose the ruffle shawl again, which I love it because it's different fabric. I mean, because it feels different. It's um, it's obviously not as big as my one. The color is different. So no, Denise, this I don't consider this a double. It's will be born on its own and it will be loved I just love this color how can you oh, love it love it love it love it love it love it but Denise even though I love the fact that you made those two items for me I am in love with this yarn and I, I told you I think I I was obsessed with this, this yarn for for about a week when it arrived this is Desert Vista Dye Works in the Viso base and the colour is Little Shop. Is it of? Little Shop and Zombodies. <sighs> and I immediately went on the Desert Vista website and I looked it up. And, oh my god, it's so cool. I think these are going to be my birthday socks. I'm mean, even though I'm doing the brown bag socks that I think for May, whatever I pull out, I won't pull out anything for May and I'll just make these because oh my god they're so good I just love it I like to smell yarn too anyway I just oh. thank you so much I like I said I loved everything you sent me but oh my god this is just perfect that that lime is just the color of my soul well aside from black because that is the main color of my soul but chartreuse is there too. I just, I know, I'm in love with this yarn. I do know, I'm in love with this yarn. Love it. Okay, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I want to thank all my new subscribers as well as those who have remained subscribed to me. For those of you waiting for a cross stitch channel, like I mentioned, the mojo is coming back. So hopefully, I'll have something in a couple of weeks. <laughs> um, yeah, I just, I really do appreciate, it and I hope you had. A fantastic winter or having a fantastic winter and it's not too cold for you guys um, up up north and for those of you down here south I hope you're keeping cool because as you can see you know the sweat is starting to um, build up on the host and career to shine thank you so much for watching take care and I'll see you next time ciao